Hello and welcome to Newmarket train station here. I've just literally arrived. It's a very busy locational area today as people are traveling from Cambridge to Newmarket. I've just literally got off just here and the train was actually uh, packed today. So of course, it's one of those sort of days. Well, it is of course, Thursday the 12th of May, 2022. And of course you can see the train departing and heading its way to Barris and Evans and eventually to other stops along the way before it gets to Barris and Evans then of course after that I think it's Thurston then Elmswell and then of course Needham Market and then Ipswich that kind of thing so yeah I arrived here in good time around about 35 minutes or so and uh yeah, I'm about to head towards the high street of Newmarket, so I thought I'd do a video today. There may be a live inside a location. Uh, we'll have to wait and see on that. So, of course, this is Newmarket during the day. So I show you the train station just here. And there's a place to actually put your bicycles there if you really want to. Just here. And, of course... It is literally just one track down here. So, of course, if you want to get back to Cambridge, I suggest you wait here and the train will be coming from this end and then heading down towards that way, of course, towards Cambridge. So this is the official Newmarket train station just here. CCTV is in operation on these cameras here. They are not webcams, by the way, although they look like them. But, yeah, that's the 19 minutes past five train to Cambridge. And it should be about, in about nine minutes time from now. And the next one being, of course, 17. So I come from here, as I say, and then head down towards Cambridge that way. Here, this is where you actually get your ticket if you wanted to go to Cambridge. You press that one. Of course, um, one way if you wanted to do a single. And any time see would be that price. And you confirm your selection there. And if you wanted to add a rail card, you hit that one. And any of those will give you a discount there. Okay, these are the lists here for the discounts. Okay, so if you wanted to add no 
but I can't, that would be the normal price for one way from here to Cambridge and you press now if you wanted to pay and that is where you put your card just there let me know in the comments what these are I'm not quite sure what these are all I know is this is the actual um, debit card um, where you swipe it just here where you see it flashing there's also a help point in this direction just there There are two ways of coming out of this train station of Newmarket. This is for wheelchair users. Probably safer to come out this way. And this is where taxis normally park here to pick people up to go into the high street in that sort of direction. And anyone can actually walk up this way here. I usually come up this way and head up onto the main platform there. I don't usually go this way, but I thought I'd showcase it just for the people at home. You can see the sign to the train station there, or the train station sign. I just discovered today, Newmarket train station, as in the station, charges apply at all times from the time of parking, location code there, and of course it's £3 all day. Annual season tickets is 328. That's a lot of money, really. Uh, more than I can afford. But, of course, all tickets expire at 4 a.m. in the morning. And you must display a valid blue badge ticket at all times to receive free parking. Because it has the disability blue badge parking there. Of course, the ways to pay by phone and pay display. So there you go, that's the train station car park just here. I'm only going to show you this brief, maybe I'll show this a bit more another time, but of course I discovered this just literally next to the car park here. And how many people actually spot this? How many people actually spot all of these along here? So let's read you some of it here. 1848, the first railway line was laid to Newmarket and then the first station was built and it is said that the reason that Newmarket received priority for its line at such an early date was because of the nobility and MPs wanted to be able to visit Newmarket races and get there and get back to London within the day so that is useful information and it illustrates it just there. 1876 July Cup was introduced as an all-age race there are only three runners it was run over six furlongs and in the early days of the race it was considered to be a showcase where high-class horses could demonstrate their versatility so yeah it tells you more information just down here I'm only going to go through some of them here and uh, this is quite useful to know about this. So, as this picture illustrates it in 1902, as it clearly says there, the new train station was built at a cost of 40,000, provided by wealthy local entrepreneur Colonel Harry McCalmont. He thought that Newmarket deserved a modern station which could handle its significant race traffic and provide space for larger engines and trains. McCalmott was also built, well, also built the avenue as impressive, smart approach to his new station. Wow. This was in 1902, by the way. And of course, uh, a lot's changed since then. It tells you about World War One from 1914 to 18 there. You want to read that yourself i'm only going to go through some of them here which is quite useful to know about still haven't left the train station yet one more thing to show you and of course this board has been put up by the new new market town council love new market there 
absolutely brilliant so of course yeah this is the main map here that's the train station that i've been talking about we could either go through green road which will take a left through here and then go through the avenue that way or we can go station approach both ways take you to the high street which we'll show you in just a minute that's the main clock tower very famous one as well and also the guinness shopping center is just there fred archer way is just behind the guinness bus station which is just in that sort of area there there's white truce there there's a church there there's another church just there fitzroy street is there very similar to the name in cambridge and uh, of course this is where all the tatters souls are that's just the name of the place i think and wood ditton road here and paddock's drive is just here so we could even take that route which is quicker actually than that route into the main high street okay something to know about here and if you want to quickly read that because i can't actually read it i literally don't have time i'm just literally running out of time so the map key is just here and i'll just quickly show you that so you can actually snap screen that if you want old station road is over here so we'll probably be heading into that direction here we once done a live here and all the way through the high street but i've got to head off this way now and uh it shouldn't take me any more than 10 to 15 minutes on a slow walk today because actually it's quite nice weather today so yeah that's another thing altogether.